Thursday morning squad ride, Centennial Park. It's gonna be about a 40 minute chop off type thing. And then um, coffee. And in honor of Shawnee's Tuesday result, get your Shawnee on. You might have got third place on Tuesday, but you took the big one. Nice work. Seven laps with every second lap going up. Block out. And then it'd be grovelling the whole wheel. Poor old Dex, he says to me, oh, he's, he's actually got a hard condition on my dad, but he says to me, I'll take the shortcut halfway up the climb every time. No problems, mate. The problem was, they closed the road, so we had to do the whole thing. Always one, isn't there? Right. <laughs> there are different runners. Oh, this is so cute, guys. Dan, you were talking about your heart rate and the long road to recovery in your blog. A real world example, my heart rate at the moment. 126. Uh, 119 versus 165. So Jess came along this morning to the shop, but we dropped him, obviously. Quite injured at the moment, that's another story. You did a little Dan classic this morning, the sub threshold session. Yeah. What is the sub threshold session? 90% of your threshold, you just sit on it. Except the only thing is it hurts the same as threshold, but you should be able to hold it for longer. So it sucks, yeah. essentially. It's a longer session, it's like what the interval's normally like 40 minutes to an hour, and it doesn't have the same kind of intensity as the, the threshold session, but it wears you down. Is some threshold session probably about 400. Now we're back home and really it's a packing day. I said earlier on in the week, we're moving this week. I've got to try and fit in some work at some stage. It'll probably be tonight, to be honest, because we've got to get as much done as possible during the day. Yeah, look, moving house with two kids. Probably not going to make for great vlog material, but I can tell you right now, I'm pretty stressed about the whole thing. Should also mention the bike is filthy. Centennial Park was at its sandy best this morning. Just that right amount of rain overnight to just wet the ground. Didn't dry because it's super humid. Didn't I have to fit in a bike clamp. I know a good video how to do a bike clamp. So you're looking forward to the move on Saturday? Yes. But you have it all planned, right? I thought you had it all planned. Sam, what do you have? Twenty four minutes, a little bit longer than normal. White bar tape. Oh, my God. That's going to be a pretty short term solution, I reckon. Absolute pain to try and get clean. Um, have a look at this, though. This is Compressor Life, okay? No lube on it yet or anything, but just dried and blown. No sand. And the other one that I've discovered, so you used to get kind of a gunky build up around the brakes, especially the rear brakes. A compressor, when you get into it, it just blows everything out of those little nooks and crannies. Man, I love that compressor. Other thing you may have noticed, just trialing a the steel uh, rails, just to see if we can get a little bit more torque on it to stop it going out of alignment. So this is the Stute Skyline BT with the, the, the steel rails. Heavier, but crank. Remember that building site? Pile of rubble? Not a pile of rubble anymore. This is not cheating. Holy shit. Okay. 
This is going to be a seriously, seriously boring vlog. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Seven hours. Seven hours building IKEA stuff. And you kind of look around and go, really? I spent seven hours doing that? Clearly, I'm never going to be a tradie. To review, we have built a bed. Built a chest of drawers. There's a bed downstairs. There's a seat. Seat? What do you call it? Chair. There's a chair downstairs. Still a bit more to go. But this is really going to test my editing skills to make this anyway interesting. Until then, we're going to have a beer and uh, sit in our place for an hour or two. Oh man, that was seriously hell. Yeah, I'm talking oh. about it.